Hello, my name's Debbie. I'm one of the teachers on the Environmental Science A level here at Godalming College. Thank you for taking the time to have a watch of this video. I'm going to give you a short introduction followed by a PowerPoint and then there'll be a chance to meet the rest of the team. Um, as I said, my name's Debbie. Um, I'm a biologist, did a microbiology and virology degree and then a PhD in immunology. And I've been teaching environmental science here at Godalming College for the last nine years. So I obviously enjoy it. Um, environmental science is probably a new A-level to a lot of you. You won't have studied much environmental science at GCSE. It's a very broad A-level. It is a science subject, of course, um, and we cover all aspects of um, the environment, really, looking at different things that affect our environment. So we look at our interaction with other species and why we need to conserve those other species. We look at our interactions with the atmosphere and the pollution that we might be causing in the atmosphere. We look at our need for water, uh, water pollution. We look at mining. We look at agriculture, fishing, um, all types of other pollutants. Um, and we finish up looking at sustainability. So as you can see just from that, we cover so many different aspects. Um, and so majority of students really enjoy this course and they will find a specific area of the environment that they certainly can become very passionate about. You'll have two teachers in environmental science. So you'll see one teacher for an hour and a half lesson and a 45 minute lesson, and then the same pattern with the other teacher. We try and mix up the lessons with different activities, maybe some practicals. Certainly when we look at the environment, uh, the ecology of the environment, we'll go out and do some sampling skills um, and hopefully do some short uh, field trips, one day field trips or afternoon field trips throughout the course. Uh, you have two three hour exams at the end of the course and those are a mixture of multiple choice, short answers, longer answers and a couple of essays. I will now have a look at a couple of PowerPoint slides, which will give you an overview of the different topics that you'll be covering, a little bit more about the final exams and about job prospects or degree courses that you could continue on if you decide to choose uh, the Environmental Science A level. This is the environmental science classroom where we'll have most of our lessons. Uh, we do also sometimes go into the laboratories when we're carrying out any practicals. Uh, you can see the way that the desks are arranged. So we put you in small groups, usually of about four. This enables us to um, give you the opportunity to, to carry out lots of group work. We find that teaching in this way works really nicely. It enables you to get to know your classmates nice and quickly, get to know the teacher nice and quickly, um, and a good way for us to assess your understanding of any of the tasks that we've set. Hi, I'm Justine. I teach environmental science at Godalming. I originally did an environmental biology degree and really pleased that I'm teaching environmental science and have the opportunity to do that at Godalming. It's a great subject, it's something I'm passionate about. Not only does it allow us to learn about some of the problems with the environment, but also to look at the solutions. So this is my morning walk and this highlights to me why teaching environmental science is so important. It's all around us, not only the agricultural land, but natural ecosystems, the atmosphere, and studying this course allows you to look at how we may be damaging it, but also looking forward into the future about how we may resolve the problems, which is so important for everybody. So I really look forward to teaching you and uh, meeting you.
Hello folks, my name is Alex. I have a degree in natural sciences, but actually specialised in zoology. It's really interesting. Hi, I'm Jess. Um, I'm one of the environmental science teachers. I just thought I'd come and give you a bit more information about me. My degree is in marine biology, which comes in very handy when thinking about some of the fisheries ecology that we look at in the course. And of course, environmental science is just everywhere and it's so current and relevant. And it's really exciting to see some of the developments that are local, national or even global. And it makes it really dynamic course to teach.